Hey, it's Jeremy Bowers over here at Coal Banker Preferred, and I also have Steve Stafford here today. Kind of want to give you guys some examples of what Steve has gone through in his real estate career to see how he can help you. He wants to give back. He's a motivated, coachable uh, sales agent, and we want to give you guys some insight on what Steve's done and how he can maybe help you guys. And these things help him just as much as it helps you guys. So we're going to dissect his business and where he's came from and where he's going. So Steve, what did you do before you worked at Coal Banker? Man, <laughs> um, everything. I mean, from working in casinos to bartending, uh, kind of just flip flop until I found what I wanted to do. And what company, don't engine company, but what were you doing before this? Your uh, so before, when I first got my start in real estate, I was working for a small rental company up around the Temple University area in North Philadelphia. And how did you do there in rentals? <sighs> I, I actually was, I did really well there in rentals. I think when I figured out my system and kind of put it in place, um, I started really knocking it out of the park. But uh, but there was something like, I think actually it was my first meeting with you. I'd said, we sat down and you had told me, you know, you're only going to be able to get so far. You know, you only have so many hours in the day. So that's when I kind of decided to make that transition into sales. How much do you think you were going to cap out making rentals? <laughs> If I didn't like uh, going out on weekends and hanging out with my friends so much, probably maximum 100000 100, Okay, 100000 And then the end of this year, ballpark, what do you think you'll make? Close to close to 150 Okay. Think. Where do you think you'll be next year? Double that. Okay, double that. What in your mind has changed that you're able to increase your no. income like that? M mindset, 100%. Uh, just kind of uh, waking up every morning and thinking to myself, what is it that I want? How do I get there? And, and kind of um, knowing that I can do it because I've been given the tools to do it. Yeah. No, and, and, and not necessarily knowing that I could do it so much as anybody could do it. They just don't apply themselves yeah. the way they're supposed to. I think that was everything. That was that really is number one. That the the one thing that's changed. What actions and habits changed so you could reach those? Because we worked on some things. <laughs> what were those actions and uh, habits you changed? Uh, st <laughs> uh, staying in during the week. Yeah. That's one of them. <laughs> uh, getting up early. Um, uh, uh, going to bed on at a reasonable hour. What time did you used to go to bed? Jesus. <laughs> one at one a.m. One a.m. What time do you go to bed now? Ten p.m. 10 p.m. Yeah. What time did you used to get up? Uh, probably like 9 or 10. Okay. What time do you get up now? Uh, 5 a.m. every morning. Um, how has your health changed by changing that besides your business numbers exploding? How has your health changed by you doing this? I, I think uh, just along the, across the board, just cha changing that mindset and then also changing my habits everything has kind of fallen in line behind that, I think. And, and um, But that's not for lack of working hard. You know yep. what I mean? Obviously, there's a lot of hard work that goes into it, but I do I do believe uh, sincerely that, you know, uh, my ability to make it to the gym when I want to is there, uh, you know, just like dating life and et cetera, all that stuff kind of falls in behind More it. More balanced. It's, yeah, exactly. You're able to kind of balance things out better, uh, you know, and... Yeah. I, I what do you? What have you taken good. advantage of? I wrote some questions. What, what's what's some things you've taken advantage of here at Coldwell Banker? You think it's helped you? Um, what what are they? Uh, okay, atmosphere is one of the big ones, um, and then the training as well. Training that you give, mentoring from you is is I think, uh, you know, I'm not just saying this. I think that is the most important thing so far for my business, because I went through the boot camp and it was great. I got a lot. I got a lot of base, but it's a, it was a follow up with you that's really. Uh, really helped my business. And then the atmosphere, um, I don't want to give some hunky-dory story where everybody comes in, we're all hugging, and okay. it's a great big team. I think I think everybody works together here, and I love that, but I also think that you've done a good job of putting together a bunch of, like, a real good, hungry group where even though we want the best for each other, every one of us still wants to be top dog. Does that make sense? Like yep. Everybody wants to go out there and, and be, the, be the guy on the board the most times that month. You yep. know what I mean? They're motivated people who want more out of life and they just aren't happy with complacency. Absolutely. Is that fair? Yeah. So see, that's one of the hardest challenges I have is trying to find someone's why or motivation that they want more out of life. Because if they don't, whatever firm they're at right now is perfectly fine, right? right? Yeah. So I think what I want to leave you with this. This is going to go out to over a couple thousand people this email. 
I believe there's rental agents and other companies right now that are not doing themselves justice by staying there. What would you tell a rental agent why they should talk to us? I, the number one thing I would say to a rental agent is just look at, look at the time, the amount of time you're spending per deal and, and look, at your, look at the payout. And when you think to yourself, I don't know how to move or transition into sales and I'm comfortable doing what I'm doing, understand that there are people like Jeremy here at this office who can teach you exactly how to transition out of that business and into this business and make you successful almost overnight. So if you're one of those people, you're motivated and you want to change your life, hit us up, 215-370-9107, and you can just type in Jeremy Bowers on YouTube or Steve Stafford. It's uh, steve.stafford at cbpref.com or 609-335-4016. Have a great day. Thanks.